Good morning, walk on the planet Mojo. Today, I'm finally gonna get these diagonal wind braces installed. When we were rushing to get the building skinned at the end of last year, I cut these and got them up into the rafters just in case I couldn't get them up there afterwards. If I cut them right now, I don't know if I would be able to get them up there. They're 20 feet long. So I got them cut, poked them up through the purlins there, and then brought them back down in there. And they've been sitting right there since. I've been waiting for a day where it's warm enough to start installing them and today is that day. It's about 30 degrees out there and we have sun shining on the roof there so it should be toasty warm up there. The problem is, like I said, they're 20 feet long and I have this scaffold. The scaffold can't come through here without taking the top part off so I'm gonna work from the scaffold from this step ladder, I'll have to set up that extension ladder over here as well. What I got to do is make some jigs to hold it in place and then screw that end in down here, then push it tight up against the top, get the end screwed in there as well, then I can screw it to all the purlins along the way. Once I get the one on this corner, I have to take the top off the scaffold, move the scaffold out of there, reassemble the scaffold, and do the other three. I believe I can move the scaffold around once I get it out of the corner. It's just, I don't know, maybe a half inch too tall to get through right here. And I believe I got it through this way before the garage door track was there. I believe this is going to be really hard to do, but I'm not going to find out until I get started. All right, I think I'm going to start by making the two jigs to hold it up there, and we'll jump right into it. All these holding jigs are is a board with a shim at the end, and then I'm screwing another board to it. That'll give me some clearance so I can put that, that brace up through here. You'll see how that goes in just a little bit. Let me get this screwed together and then figuring out where these go up on the purlins, that's the hard part. Okay, let me show you what I'm doing before I get too far ahead. It's up there, it's being held right there and right there. And I just guessed on the locations and it came out pretty good. I should be able to do that on the others as well. And now I have a cat with me as well. But once I get it up there and about where it needs to go, I trim off the point on this end and then this will get screwed through here into the truss here. Then I'll go up and screw that point in. Then I can go along the whole thing and put two screws into each purlin. And what that's gonna do is if I get a really heavy wind at the peak up there, it's gonna transfer the load down to this column, to this truss, and it's gonna transfer it to all the other trusses via the purlins as well. And it's gonna make things super strong. So let me get a screw in here and then we'll move the ladder, get the screw up there and I'll get this one in. I think I'll do a little bit more videotaping on the other side where there's more light. Okay, one in a row. It goes from the peak all the way down to the column slash truss and has two screws in every purlin along the way. That is incredibly stiff in that area now, 
and that'll transfer loads to the rest of the building if there is a really high wind on this peak here, which there will be at some point. Oh, cat. She's going down into that pocket back there. All right, now I gotta take the top off of this and I believe I can leave it off the entire time. We'll see, but for sure I have to take it off now just to get it over there. So let me go through all that stuff and we'll start on the next one. Okay, I put this second set of rungs on and rolled this back into there and it clears that truss with no problem, but it's hitting on this one. I believe the only place I can roll this around is right in the middle and now I have lights there. So that is going to be a problem. So what I'm going to have to do is just put the two rungs on and put one platform near the top get this next brace in here and then take it all apart again and move it over to the next one. It's possible that it'll make it underneath these, but there's all kinds of stuff in the way anyways. So it looks like I'm gonna have to tear this apart every time. That really sucks. All right, let's move this back into the corner there, get this set up again and get this next diagonal in. Okay, I have this second one tacked in at both ends. Man, there's a lot of moving ladders around and going up and down ladders. I'll show you what we got up here. Now I need to put two screws into each one of these purlins. I'll have to go and move the ladder and I think I can get the last of them over there from the ladder. And then we'll have to move this whole thing, take it apart and move it to that corner. I'm hoping I have enough time to even do that corner over there today. It's already getting late. All right, let me throw some screws in here and we'll get this moved. kind of hanging over this brace right here. The brace is not very strong, so if I start to fall, I can't count on it. All right, the rest of them I'm gonna have to do from the ladder over there. When I moved that ladder, it wanted to go right here. So I had to adjust the ladder, move the gator, and put the ladder right underneath the gator there. Otherwise, I could have fell to my death. This is solid ice right here. 
very slippery. Okay, this one's in and it is getting very late. What I'm gonna do is get all this stuff moved over here. I have a lot of stuff that I gotta move out of the way just to do that. And I have to take the top part of this off again. So let's get that done. We'll get the scaffold moved over here. And with any luck, I can get this one in tonight. As for this one here, there is just a ton of stuff in the way. And what I think I'm gonna do is just wait to put this one up until I do the insulation in this area. I don't wanna move all of this stuff out of the way, put that diagonal in, and then move it all back. Over here, there's just a couple of things in the way and they're on wheels, so it shouldn't be that hard. All right, let's get this moved. Okay, that is gonna wrap it up for today. I have this side completely done. All of the diagonal braces are in. This is dangerous as I'll get out. Got a bunch of ice here that melted off of the gator. Now it's gonna melt over there. Hopefully this will go away and then I can move that back. This stuff eventually evaporates. This stuff right here that's when I was putting together this shelter logic shelter and I brought them blocks in. This was a huge area and it's evaporating. So tomorrow I'm going to go out and spritz all these trees with deer repellent. I took Izzy for a walk earlier today and I noticed something that was going on in the pasture over here. It looks pretty cool from the road. It's deer related stuff. So we'll go look at that close up tomorrow. So if you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.